Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good evening, everybody. Nice to see you. Can't really see you, but nice to sense you. I always like to, always like the audiences here, and it's always full, of course. And uh, with this many people, whenever I see a group of people this large, I always wonder, you know, how much dry cleaning they have out. <laughs> or how many have had things out for more than a month, and the guy's gonna sell them on you, you know. Just the kind of stuff that keeps me alive. Johnny, good to see you guys. Uh, as usual, I can't help it. I'm on a roll now with this uh, commissary. I stopped in again tonight. And in case you and Ed are thinking of going over there, may I recommend the uh, puree of woodchuck? <laughs> uh, a, a rack of loon. Some wolf noodle soup. The curried woodpecker is good today. And topped it all off with a nice bowl of the uh, candied unicorn McNuggets. <laughs> Just in case you don't know what to order. You know, I was wondering, if you send a letter to the post office, who delivers it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how they work that. There, sh there should be a way to work that out. Anyway, Bush has named his drug czar. Uh, I guess that's uh, William Bennett the drug czar. If you're a drug lord, you go to prison. If you're a drug czar, you get a job in the government. Strange. <laughs> I don't know how they work that. Uh, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be funny to go to group therapy and the Mills brothers were there? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder about certain things. I wonder why prostitution is illegal. I can't figure that out. Why should it be illegal to sell something that's perfectly legal to give away? That makes sense to you? I wonder about those one-hour photo places where they develop your fil film in an hour. Why would you want it that quickly? You know, you just saw the thing. <laughs> I guess if you forgot, you'd be quick, you know. <laughs> I don't know what I took a picture of. Beauty pageants are controversial in, in, among the women's movement. They're, they're, they don't like that. Uh, you know what I think they ought to do with that Miss America contest? I think they ought to make the losers keep coming back until they win. <laughs> we get pretty bizarre after around 35 years. All those batons dropping all over the stage. I have a theory. I believe the mafia is controlled by organized crime. <laughs> Uh, personal theory. Do you realize that in most cities the mental health department is closed on the weekends? That would seem to be the time you need them the most, you know? All the nuts are off work and whatever. Did you ever notice no matter where you fall asleep, a woman will cover you up? It's true. You, you know, you fall asleep at a lady's house for five minutes, you wake up, there's three blankets on you. <laughs> I've always wanted to take out a personal ad, one of those personal ads that no one would ever answer. You know, uh, middle-aged, accident-prone, paranoid alcoholic, <laughs> interested in snakes, spiders, and torture, <laughs> would like to meet a rich young woman in her 20s. Yeah. <laughs> The nice thing about it is you wouldn't have to sit by the mailbox all day, you know. Here's some advice for young guys, young men getting out of college. If you're going to get married, marry an orphan. This is good advice. Marry an orphan. First of all, you never have to worry about whether or not her father's going to like you or not, you know. I mean, there's nothing, there's no better feeling in the world than when you say to a girl, gee, I hope your dad approves of me, and she says, my father's dead. <laughs> You know you're home free. Uh, another thing, you don't have to put up with these in-laws. You don't have to spend these boring Thanksgivings and Christmases, you know, at her folks' house. The, the worst you'll have to do maybe is an occasional visit to the cemetery, you know. And you can always get out of that by saying you're afraid of ghosts. Here's an assumption people make that isn't true. This, this might help you. You know how they say, it's the quiet ones 
you got to watch out for. This is a very dangerous assumption. It's the noisy ones you got to watch out for. Chances are very good that while you're watching a quiet one, a noisy one will kill you. <laughs> Then, thank you very much, that's nice. There are some things that you never hear. I just wanted to mention a couple of things. You never hear these things. This is something you never hear anybody say, Dad, you really ought to drink more. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Here's one you never hear. Do what you want to the girl, but leave me alone. <laughs> thank you very much. That's all I got to say. few cogent observations on the human condition. That's right. John. Which doesn't seem to get a hell of a lot better as we go along. <laughs> no, does just it? a little stranger, maybe. God, that's funny. I have to do this. We're coming right back, okay. folks. There we are. Yeah. 480,000 times. Well, I don't get to say it enough, Johnny. <laughs> that's this true, is man. my second film clip on this show. Hey, all second right. Second film clip. So, folks, watch the monitor. We had there hanging right above your heads there. Yeah. And we'll take a look at this film clip. Mongols ruled China? Well, perhaps we could ask them. Bill S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan. Gentlemen, I'm here to help you with your history report. What? Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. This seems to be uh, kind of a fantasy, huh? It is, yes. Yeah, I just guessed that. Those guys are great. And, and what they do is they bring a group of historical figures back to the present day. Yeah. And that's the fish out of water. That's the, uh, Getting the historical figures is a lot of fun, but seeing... Seeing Sigmund Freud deal with a corn dog is, uh, It's always been a fantasy of mine. Right. Yeah. Uh, that, that's where a lot of the humor lies. It's a good, fast, funny okay. movie. Bill and Ted's... Uh, Bill and Ted's... Uh, yeah. Excellent Ed adventure. adventure. How's your family? Good. Family's doing very well. Uh, you always ask about my son, D'Artagnan. Yeah, D'Artagnan. That yeah. name intrigues me, but... Uh, yeah, he's, he's doing well. My uncles, uh, I'm having uh, my little problems there. Yeah. Uh, well, I had five uncles, you know, originally. Uh, oh, uh, Wink, Harpo, Mustafa, and and I had one uncle who uh, he had he never he had a woman's name you know had the same name as a woman that some uh -huh. people can't handle it I guess you know it's not so bad Leslie is a, a name both both sexes shared or Lee or Marion but um, Uncle Margaret Mary just had the hardest yeah. time. <laughs> terrible thing to bear yeah he, yeah he he changed the name later to Charlemagne which I think suited him <laughs> Uncle lot. Charlemagne. But the uncles died off one by one. Wink died in a dumpster fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Mustafa was horribly burned by blimp exhaust. Blimp exhaust. Uh, which puts me in mind of uh, the earlier shot uh, yes. of the Hindenburg yeah. there. And, of course, um, uh, what did I say? Harpo. Harpo, uh -huh. Harpo died an unusual death. He died in a library. Mm -hmm. He was uh, beaten to death by a scholar with a dictionary stand. <laughs> Well, that's tough. Talking too loud. Yeah, yeah, I think he was. Yeah. I think he was raising, you know, a little sure, pain. A little but um, they're, they're all doing well except for Charlemagne. Uh, Charlemagne, uh, he was working for a dentist. Yeah. And they caught him sending out obscene teeth cleaning notices. <laughs> so, because he had had prior arrest, impersonating a health inspector once and yeah. uh, committing sodomy with a drake, he was... Uh, <laughs> 
They just, they just grabbed him and put him away again. We do have to leave. We do. <laughs> just for a second oh, here. No. But we're coming right back. <laughs> Yeah, you don't like it? 